before this vlog starts, I just want to say that I'm doing a virtual live show to celebrate all the exciting things going on in my life right now. And um, so that will be on July 31st at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Most people are starting to actually go out and tour now, but because I got these babies growing inside of me, that's not really an option for me right now. So I miss performing. I want to perform for you guys. So I'm going to be doing a show full of singing and comedy and ridiculousness. If you guys want to check it out, make sure to get tickets July 31st, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's going to be me and Miranda, friends, family, just total hot mess funness. More details are in the Miranda video that I posted today. You will also find out Miranda's explanation for the pregnancy this time around. So um, definitely go check out the new Miranda video if you haven't already. And yeah, I love you guys. Don't forget to get your tickets. I'm so excited. And here's the vlog. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the day of Tuesday. So um, I had my IV drip this morning, which is amazing because when I woke up, I felt like garbage town USA. Full on garbage trash. Awful. Felt horrible. I'm feeling much better now, but I have physical therapy. I have to leave for only 20 minutes. Um. <sighs> out of breath. So I have something I need to say. So as I was editing my vlog from yesterday, I was watching some of the footage back and I was just like, man, I get so hyper-focused and obsessed with things. For example, the sex of these babies. I'm like getting obsessive and it's not healthy because it doesn't matter. I found out today, like I called my doctor again and I was like, what's going on? Like it's been over two weeks since I got that blood test. How come we haven't had the results yet? And they're like, I don't know. So here's the deal. I'm going to cool it with talking about the sex of the babies, the genders of the baby, because I was annoying myself watching the vlog yesterday. I was like, I get so hyper-focused and fixated on something and I get like obsessive over things. It's just not good. So I'm gonna cool it. I found out new information today that made me go, I need to drop this because I'm gonna drive myself crazy. I'm gonna drive you guys crazy. So I'm not gonna talk about it anymore as much as I can. So here's the deal. I did get the blood test. The blood test will tell us whenever I get the results, which could be today, it could be in a week, it could be in two weeks. I don't freaking know when I'm getting this freaking blood results back. I took the blood test two weeks ago. So I should have the results back. I don't understand what's taking so long. But when I get that those results back, it will tell us if I'm having two girls or it will tell us that there is a boy in there but we won't know if it's one boy or two boys until I get an ultrasound later. The only thing this blood test will definitively tell us is if it is two girls. If there's a boy in there, which I think there is, we still don't really know the genders till later. I thought, because I Googled, and Google sometimes lies, I thought that I have this big ultrasound this week on Thursday, and I thought that at that ultrasound they'll be able to see if they're boys or girls because with Flynn they could tell. At my 12 week appointment they saw that he was a boy. But apparently sometimes that's not accurate. A boy can look like a girl, a girl can look like a boy, and then later you find out it's changed. With twins in particular, everything I've read today, which was very disappointing, <laughs> said I won't know for sure until like 16 to 20 weeks. So like for another month. So first of all, I'm sorry to anyone who was getting excited with me about finding out uh, the sex of the babies this week with me because I don't think that's going to happen. I'm pretty disappointed, but it also doesn't matter. Like they're in there, they're healthy, they're jumping around, dancing, they're cute as can be. I get to see them very often. I just got impatient and just thought I was gonna find out last week. I didn't, thought I was gonna find out this week. I haven't. And instead of like stressing about it every day, I'm just gonna let it go and just be like, if I find out that there are two girls through that blood test, that's exciting, cool. I'll be excited to know if I find out that there's a boy or two boys, we won't know which for like probably another month, then that's fine. And I just need to let it go. So I apologize for obsessing over it, talking about it 24 seven. I know that's annoying. I annoyed myself watching the footage. I was like, ew, I'm so annoying. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop it. When I know, I will tell you guys that I know. And then I will try to get like a video out as soon as possible for you guys. So you don't have to worry and ask questions every day like on Twitter and in the comments here. Like, Do you know, did you get a call? Did you get a call? I will tell you when I know, but I don't think it's gonna happen for a while. That was a little disappointing to find out this morning. So I could find out on Thursday at this ultrasound, but it's not likely. It's like they could see, but it's not like definitive. So like they could say like, it looks like two boys, but then later we could find out they're two girls. Or they could be like, oh, this one looks like a girl and this one looks like a boy. And then later we could find out that's wrong. Or it could be right. Basically, whatever they say on Thursday, like I can't announce it to you guys because it could change. I'm gonna try my hardest not to talk about it anymore unless I get the call from the doctor and they tell me what it is, then I will talk about it with you guys. But other than that, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut because I know I'm being annoying. I know I'm being obsessive. I apologize. Yeah, I'm gonna go do physical therapy now and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. It is 106 degrees outside today and where we live and that is not fun. I don't envy all the women who are seven, eight, nine months pregnant because being three months pregnant in this heat is awful. So I can't imagine being way more pregnant. I'm exhausted from nothing. I'm sitting here. I can't breathe. Okay, bye. I have physical therapy. This is what she looks like today. Can you say hi to the babies? Hi babies. What you got? A, a 
the truck. I'm playing with the garbage truck right now. What does it do? Can you show them what it does? Whoa. That's so cool. What else does it do? Wow, that's pretty cool. Bye bye, trash can. <gasps> I have to wait till the garbage truck. Beep, 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 beep. I love you, Ben. So we're just playing with the garbage truck in silence. <gasps> dumping our trash. It's dumping the trash. See you guys in a little bit. Oh man, guys, I'm having a day of days. Where's my phone, first of all? It's not in my pocket. I lost my cell phone, which has my recipe on it for dinner. I'm having fish and veggies for dinner. I'm trying to be healthier because I think it'll help me to feel better. I can see how swollen my face is, guys. I know it's superficial, no one cares and I'm growing babies, so I should just be like happy about babies growing, but it's just weird to see my face. My body looks a different. Where's my freaking phone? Oh, I don't remember where I put it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna make a like Parmesan butter. No, it doesn't sound very healthy. Ah, uh, <laughs> fish, like halibut. I just spilled cheese everywhere. I'm having a rough time. Because, ooh, Parmesan is sharp. <laughs> I'm having a day, a full of like self-hatred, which is so fun. Just girly things. Um, because, I, and I felt this way a lot with Flynn, which is what I think eventually made me have prepartum depression and um, hate pregnancy so much, other than the pain I was in. I had a moment today where I couldn't breathe and I was really shaky and had to lay down. I couldn't do anything. And I just feel like my whole life right now is consumed with like pregnancy. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about it. I'm sick of talking about it. I'm sick of it being the only thing in my mind. My whole day is like get an IV drip and do my stretches and go to physical therapy and go to doctor's appointments and do these things for the babies and make these appointments for the babies and Googling these things about the babies. And then when I'm not doing those things, I feel so ill from nausea or exhaustion or not being able to catch my breath or the pelvic pain. My whole life is consumed with babies, which is cool and fine. But sometimes it makes me feel very weak because there's so many women out there who are pregnant and just go about their days and like can go to work and everything's fine and like it doesn't affect them. I find myself so jealous of those people. I just feel so lame. I feel so lame. I feel like what's wrong with me that like my body can't handle this and that I have this reaction to pregnancy where it's like my body shuts down and I cannot do anything. I just have to lay down on a couch and like have fluids pumped in my veins and I can't get any work done. I can't play with my son. I just feel a lot of guilt about it and I feel stupid and weak. That hit me pretty hard today. I remember feeling this way with Flynn like crazy. I just felt so weak and lame. I know I'm growing two people. <laughs> That's a lot of work. But damn it, there are women who grow twins who are fine, who can go do their job and who can live life. Like, why is it so hard for me? And I'm not saying, well, my life is so hard. Like, I'm not trying to act like that. I'm saying like, I don't want it to be like this. I want to be able to like, keep doing all my work. I don't want to just lay on the couch. I want to go do stuff. Um, I'm so grateful for the medicine I have and the doctors I have and the IV drips because they do help immensely. Like, if I did not have those, I would know I'd be in a much worse physical and mental state. And I'm so excited for these babies that I'm having twins. And every time I tell someone I'm having twins, like what a blessing. And it does feel like that. It feels like a miracle. It feels like a blessing. And, and it, like, just why am I so special that I got chosen to like have twins? Like, why did these twins pick me? Like, I feel so lucky, but it's like mixed with these feelings of like, I'm so lame. Like how come other women are pregnant and fine? And like, I'm not. <laughs> so that's kind of the day I'm having today. I'm just gonna eat my tangerine and cry. <laughs> Six more months, guys. Six more months of this. And then apparently it gets harder. With Flynn, the pregnancy was horrendous and everyone was like just wait till a baby comes and then Flynn came and I was like yeah this is hard but this is a billion times better than pregnancy I didn't even compare like I was so happy I didn't care about the exhaustion I didn't care about the pain and the stitches and the emotions and all that like I had Flynn like it was totally amazing so for me it was pregnancy was absolute misery and torturous and then having him was just glory and like amazing and I feel like this time I'm worried because <laughs> I know me so excited and grateful for these twins when they come but just going from one baby to three babies sounds really overwhelming. So I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sure I'm gonna regret saying all this because I'm just gonna sound like a whiny wah wah. So I'm gonna eat my tangerine and make some healthy dinner because that'll make me feel productive today. You know what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. Other women go to work all day long, pregnant and gozy friends and run errands and raise their kids with no help and they make dinner. And I'm like, I'm gonna make dinner so I feel productive. Like how lame am I? <laughs> That's not an accomplishment. Here we go. The 
doesn't look very appetizing, but hopefully it's good. Hello everybody, I just finished working on the Miranda video that I'm posting tomorrow to announce the new live show. I'm so excited! Obviously, if you guys have known me a while, you know that touring is like my favorite thing ever. I love performing. I love seeing you guys and meeting you and performing for you. I've always been a performer. It's like my favorite thing to do. I really miss it. I've been missing it the last year a lot. And so during the pandemic, I did a couple live shows that were from my house, like virtual live shows, and they were really fun. They aren't as fun for me <laughs> as doing the live show on a stage, like in front of a live audience. But since I can't really do that right now, I, I can't go a whole nother year without performing. So I wanted to do another show. So I'm doing a show. I'm really stressed. I'm really nervous. Um, obviously you guys just saw me have a total breakdown while eating a tangerine. I don't know how I'm gonna do planning a live show, but I actually think it'll be good for me to have something that brings me so much joy and something that I'm passionate about and I love doing. I think it'll just be really, really good for my soul and for my mental health to perform again and do comedy again. It's been so long since I did Miranda and Miranda brings so much joy to my life. It's gonna be fun. It's a half me, half Miranda show as per usual. It's a weird one, but are they ever not weird? I'll be Zooming with you guys throughout the show. I'll be singing. I'll be doing weird things. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a blast. I actually originally had live shows planned for the end of this year that I was gonna go back out on tour at the end of 2021. And we had to move them all because that's when I'm having the twins. We're trying to reschedule shows um, for like sometime next year, but I can't wait that Long, so I was I just called my agent I was like can I do another live show I miss it he was like you're crazy but okay so here we go this could be a total disaster I could barf while performing I could faint while performing I could randomly start crying while performing these are all very very likely options but I am very excited so I would love if you guys tune in get your tickets and just enjoy an afternoon watching me be a complete idiot I'm really really excited and I'm working with a great team of people to try to make it like the best show ever try to make it as enjoyable for you guys and and as enjoyable for me as it can be. And um, I'm just really excited to sing again and do comedy again and just be an idiot again. I'm excited. I just um, finished editing. Corey worked on this video the last two days, editing it. And then I just worked on it for a couple hours and I'm uploading it and I'm announcing in the morning. And I'm so excited. It felt good to do Miranda again too. I'm on go. I'm feeling so much better than I was. I think I just needed to cry. You know, sometimes you just need to cry. That's how I felt. I think I just felt down on myself and just sad. Like pregnancy does not mix well with me and my hormones and my body. I'm so grateful for it. And I'm so excited that I'm having twins, but there's, it's not all pretty. Like pregnancy is not all pretty and just cute. It sometimes really sucks and it's really hard and it's really dark. I just didn't feel good tonight. I hated myself for a bit. I'm already feeling better. Just like thinking about the show and planning the show and prepping for the show is already like making me feel so much better. So anyway, I love you guys. And um, I'll see you in a little bit. It's like an hour later. I thought I'd be able to vlog more for you or do something entertaining, but um, I don't feel good, guys. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Why do you watch me? Anyway, love you guys so much. I hope you're having a happy day, whatever you're doing, and um, you are beautiful. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.